Hi guys, this is a redirect to my reaction to Boruto, Naruto, Next Generations, episodes 35, 36, and 37. Oh my god, these episodes were so lit. I think these were like some of the best episodes we've seen so far. Um, so this, these episodes, we see the kids preparing for the graduation exam and the actual graduation exam itself, the bell test, which was quite different to the bell test that we saw all the way back in Naruto Part 1. But that's to be expected. We do need a bit of difference. And this one was a lot harder, a lot, lot harder than the one that was in Naruto Part 1. Because not only did um, the kids have to face Kakashi to get the one bell, but they also had to go through Konohamaru, Anko and Shino to get to Kakashi. So that that was that seems so difficult, but to be fair, the kids are a lot stronger than how Naruto, Sasuke and Sakura were like when they were Genin's. Um, to be honest, they did really well. Like, they struggled a lot initially, like, trying to, like, take down Anko, Konohamaru, and, um, Shino. Um, but, jeez, again, the friendship is emphasised, like, Mitsuki helping Boruto with, um, K Kakashi. Like, Kakashi was a savage. So, um, in the first episode, though, we saw the kids... Um, getting the parent-teacher conference meeting, which is parents' evening, basically. Um, and Boruto, he doesn't really know what he wants to do after he graduates, which is a bit weird, because, like, why would you want to become a ninja if you don't know what you're going to do afterwards? Like, what's the point? Um, but it's to, like, surpass um, his dad and make a fool out of his dad, I guess. And I'm just like, bruh. Like, that's pay. That's really pay, actually. actually um, but, actually, um, when <coughs> when um, Boruto finds out that actually he has influenced every other kid, pretty much every other kid in his, um, in his age group, and I was just like, wow. Like, Boruto, like, if only he realised before just how much He's influenced people like Samir, Iwabe, Sarada, Denki, Metoli, etc. Like, they really do look up to him. Like, they wouldn't have become acad <coughs> academy ninjas if it wasn't for Boruto um, and his encouragement. So, really, Boruto is a great friend and a great ninja, too. Um, he just has this, like... He just, he just, he's very naughty. That's, that's what people are so put off. But actually, he's, a, he's actually a really sweet guy, if, if you think about it. If you think about how much he helps people, um, and try to, to, um, save them from themselves. <coughs> <coughs> and also, um, sorry, I've got a bit of a cough. Um, and we got to see the actual graduation exam. That was lit. Um, we saw Team Inoshika Cho up against Anko, and Anko using a snake abilities, and we finally see Denki actually doing something. Like, I've been waiting for this guy in particular to do something quite impressive, and he's actually focusing on doing ceiling jutsus, um, fuin jutsu, and oh my god, that was so cool when they all pinned down Kakashi in the end. They all worked together to get the bell because um obviously there was only one bell so Kakashi was like only one of you can actually pass but that was a trick that was a trick they all wanted to pass together by getting the bell at the same time so that was really cool how Denki <coughs> used his seeding formation with everyone else um to really paralyze put um, Kakashi in his place, in his position still, to make him not move, and then um, Boruto taking his bell, but Boruto, because Kakashi, like, tried, you know, he has a lot more strength than Boruto, obviously, um, so, um, even though Boruto failed to get the bell, Kakashi still made all of them pass, so that was the great news, because they, what they did was extremely impressive 
even for Kakashi, he was extremely impressed by the ceiling jutsu um, and also the great amount of teamwork that they did. Like, this graduation, graduation exam is definitely a lot better than the previous graduation exam. Which is, there's just so much more going on in this one. So, well done to the Baruto producers and stuff for coming up with this whole um, dramatic, intense, a lot more intense bell test. Um, so, well done for giving everyone a chance because, uh, let's be honest, Sakura didn't actually do anything all the way back in Naruto Part 1 during the bell test. Um, so it's nice to see the girls doing a lot of action um, in the Spirito series in general. Um, so anyway, uh, what, did you, what did you guys think of these episodes? Let me know. I think they were really lit, like some of the best episodes we've seen so far. And stay tuned for more.